A counterproductive work behavior, or CVB, is any employee behavior that undermines the goals and interests of a business. They come in many different forms, but can include work deviance, such as continually being late for work, stealing documents or money, deceiving others to result in personal gain, staying away from work for several times, destroying or damaging properties. Then we have sexual harassment by making inappropriate sexual remarks or approaches, workplace bullying which consists in repeated mistreatments, mobbing and emotional abuse aimed to humiliate, and workplace aggression that includes every type of aggressive behavior. All these counterproductive behavior are linked to individual narcissism or selfishness that commonly leads people to focus only on their personal interests and to a complex set of personality characteristics primarily based on the individual's cognitive interpretation of self and the world. For example, envy affects human relationship generating hostility between colleagues, negative competition or violent behavior. This type of behavior affects the quality of work produced by the single employee and also the productivity of the entire working population. As well, CVB creates undesirable risks for the employers, both economic and social, and can generate a cascading effect both inside and outside the work environment. In fact, the dissemination of news has a dysfunctional effect on work, on well-being, and on the organizational climate, on reputation and corporate image. To better understand human capital and create well-being in companies, there are some preventive actions to put in practice. Behavioral tests and psychological tests that measure consciousness, rule adherence, attitude and reliability, a clear definition and analysis of the roles according to the knowledge and skills possessed, a system of equity or distributive justice within the organization of work, work on spreading a culture that leads to citizenship organizational, therefore a dynamic system based on support, initiative and proactivity. In conclusion, we can say that the role of the psychologist is fundamental to guide the relationship in a workplace in order to pursue a productive work atmosphere.